All right, so recently we made a video on the installation process of the latest OxygenOS build named Luna by Team Evelyn. And since then, me and my testers team have been testing it since yesterday. I've been getting a lot of comments and messages. Where is the review for this particular ROM? Everybody's excited, but I thought before I recommend anything to you guys as a daily driver, I should thoroughly test it. I've had around two charge cycles, ran the benchmarks, played some games on it and a gaming review for this one will be coming later as well. So we are not including a gaming clip in this one, but there will be a dedicated gaming review coming today or tomorrow. So today, this is the complete review of the latest Oxygen OS port for the Redmi K20 Pro. Now, before we get into the details, well, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon because hey, it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this. If you think you like chatting with like-minded people, join us on Telegram. We have more than a thousand people over there. And if you think the hard work is worth the effort, well, please click the join button and support the channel. Now, without further ado, hello, awesome people. Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. All right, so let's talk about the complete review of the latest Oxygen OS for the amazing Redmi K20 Pro, also known as the Mi 90 Pro. Now, it doesn't make any sense for me to go through the complete changelog again because uh, we did that in the install video and you can go ahead and check it in the Team Evelyn channel or their group as well, right? So let's see what we have here. We have Oxygen OS, which looks beautiful. It works really, really great. Yeah, this is a very good ROM, no matter what point of view you talk about it from, but this is a really excellent ROM. There are some bugs here and there, which we will talk about towards the end of the video. So first things first, let's go to about phone over here. You do see it says it's a Snapdragon 855 plus. No, it doesn't upgrade your processor to the plus variant. You still get the 855 and you have 6, 128. That's the version that I'm using. You don't really get the 90 Hertz fluid display because our device is a 60 Hertz. But what you do get over here is the August security patch. It comes with their Genos kernel and this is based on Android 11, right? So this latest port is based on the OnePlus 70 Pro. And uh, if you look at the install video in which I've mentioned a lot of changelog and other things, they've done a lot of hard work on this particular build. They've tried to optimize it as much as they can. They've given good Dolby. They've made the fingerprint scanner basically good and stuff like that. So one by one, let's see what all we have here. So if you go to settings over here, you have your typical OnePlus UI, which works like a charm. Under Wi-Fi and network, you have Wi-Fi, SIM and network. So Wi-Fi, Bluetooth device and connection, and under display, as you can see over here, you have your ambient display, right? So always on ambient display, you can select it to all day. And if you go over here, you will see, you have always on display and as long as now one thing about the fingerprint scanner over here, they've done a lot of hard work on it, but you need to have the brightness at least to like 45%. This is the, you know, point where if, if you go below this, say for example, and you want to use the always on display, it will struggle. At the same time, if you increase the brightness to say almost 50% and there you go. So that is sort of a downside, but what works really, really well is the face unlock. So if you're someone who's not really paranoid about uh, privacy and stuff, you can, you know, use the inbuilt face unlock and it works absolutely fine. Even in low light situation, the display lights up and it works absolutely fine. So as far as the fingerprint is concerned, that is the story. Now, apart from this, you have font size, display size, status bar customization. All those customization options are working absolutely fine you do have screen calibration so natural vivid different so if you go to advanced you have srgb and stuff now i don't know how accurately this works but as far as i have checked it works fine right now moving on what else do we have we have customization in which you have the canvas mode right so you will need a picture over here and uh, basically let's see here yeah, it needs a face. So I've not clicked a picture using the front camera. Okay. Yeah. So first ever. There you go. Preview. <laughs> this looks a little different, but let's go and apply this as a always on display. There you go. So first ever lock screen always on display with the CPU throttle test and the moment you unlock it, you get 
the benchmark ignore that i was just kidding anyway so what i was trying to say is when you go to uh, the customization menu over here so and you select canvas well that particular feature works fine if you go to this and say select something like this you can enable bitmoji as well for which you'll have to install the app i still think this is one of my favorite uh, always on display as far as oneplus is concerned uh yeah it looks good i i don't see fod over here when screen is locked but that's okay so yeah we're going to change the wallpaper over here real quick let's select the oneplus wallpaper save yes there you go so the brilliant oneplus live wallpaper as you can see over here working like a charm yeah so the oneplus wallpaper and all the basic things are working really great now one thing that is a big highlight of this particular rom as always is the smoothness the smoothness on this rom is super amazing the charging speeds are absolutely fine there are no major issues with the charging speeds at the same time we will talk about the battery backup but let's see if we have any more additional features over here so if you go to security and lock screen and uh, you want to send a fingerprint for example as i mentioned if you go to add a fingerprint and your brightness is low it will not detect your fingerprint but at the same time if you have the right brightness enabled in one go you will be able to add your fingerprint as you can see on the screen a lot of people had this complaint recently that your fingerprint scanner is not working on this rom so let's see here so fingerprint added successfully there you go working like a charm and as far as face lock is concerned face unlock is working fine as well you do have allow auto unlock when screen is on face unlock assistive lighting so in dark areas as well it will light up and allow you to use face unlock so that is something really really neat now moving on you do have your oneplus privacy settings over here as you can see over here and they work absolutely fine but we are not here for you know these oneplus specific features to be honest we are here for k20 pro and what smoothness it offers to you can you use it as a daily driver and that brings me to the question of battery life so we have prateek over here one of our elite testers he has got pretty decent battery life he charged and in 11% he was be able to use the screen almost for 1 hour and we talk about our own battery backup the phone was lying idle for most of the time since yesterday because uh, yeah we were doing something with the pc and that is the reason you just saw one upload yesterday and one upload today anyways so let's talk about the battery life over here so view detailed usage as you can see over here one day two hours ago and it doesn't show the battery life properly so let's go to show full device usage screen is 6% 1 hour 48 minutes bgmi 43 minutes cpu throttling test so all in all you know if you're going to use this as a daily driver you'll be easily able to get through a day after one or two charge cycles so the battery life is decent i would not say it's better than mi ui or better than some custom roms but it'll give you 4 four and a half to 5 hours of screen on time and if you're not gaming at all you'll probably get 6 to 7 hours of screen on time so the battery life is not an issue over here a lot of people had issues with the youtube history not working youtube history is working fine for me uh initially when i did not flash this correctly i did have random reboots right now i've not experienced any random reboots after i did a proper proper install right now one more question that you guys will have will this rom support custom kernels by team evelyn they don't support it but unofficially we flashed soviet star and it worked absolutely fine so far in the first 24 hours of testing using soviet star kernel we didn't have any major issues so let's talk about safety net over here right now so for some reason it says safety net has failed so if we actually go to the google play store over here go to settings device is certified so probably i rooted and i didn't configure the root access properly that is the reason the safety net is failing widevan l1 should be working absolutely fine something that is more interesting over here is dolby atmos that is much better compared to what it was earlier right so right now dolby atmos is turned off let's see if we can find out any difference over here okay right now this is with atmos off okay now let's go ahead and turn it on
you can definitely feel it working. It's less loud, but the quality probably improves. I'm not an audiophile, so I might be wrong over here, but in earphones at least, the Dolby Atmos function is working absolutely fine. Right now, there are other things that are very, very significant in this particular ROM. For example, if you talk about the new game space by OnePlus, right? As you can see over here, you have pro gaming board, which you can go ahead and enable mistouch prevention. And these features are working absolutely fine. As you can see over here, there you go. You have gaming statistics as well. And you do have your moments in which you have screenshots. You can add a game of your choice. You can change the view. I like that view better and if you go to settings over here, you have hide game space and all the other options which are available. So the gaming mode is absolutely working fine. Let's go to Battlegrounds Mobile India as you can see over here. So pro gaming mode enabled, there you go, screen recorder, if you go to the settings of the screen recorder, audio source microphone audio or internal audio you cannot record both of them together and then you have some other recordings like other settings like pause recording when screen is off and stuff so let's quickly go ahead and record the screen over here and let's go back to the game the thing that is good is i'm not observing any ui lag over here even though the screen recorder is enabled that is something really neat as you can see over here see this guy walking over here you will notice that there is no lag and if you talk about the settings in VGMI, well, you just have smooth 90 FPS, but this device doesn't support 90 FPS, so it's of no use. Let's go ahead and uh, quickly stop the recording over here. As you can see, the screen recording has been stopped and video saved to gallery. The processing is really, really quick. There you go. Yep. So the screen recorder is working fine now. Apart from this, if you go to the edit menu in the quick tiles, you have battery saver, reading mode, dark mode, OTG, do not disturb. Then you have VPN, invert colors, focus mode, live caption, Dolby Atmos and screen recorder and storage and stuff like that. So basically the quick tiles look great. They're working absolutely fine. To the left, you have this never settle OnePlus dash, I think is what they're calling it. So if you go to home settings, yeah, they're calling it shelf, not dash. I would have preferred a Google feed over there, right? Double tap to lock is there. The OnePlus launcher, very, very basic customization, nothing out of the board there. But the Google feed test, something very important. Let's go ahead and do this. And as you can see, it's smooth as butter. It's working absolutely fine. Now, apart from this, as far as calling is concerned, you know, Wi-Fi calling, all the texting and basic features, are working just fine. You can install Google camera, Gcam works fine. If you're gonna ask me is OnePlus camera working, don't ask me because OnePlus camera is not working. You cannot get OnePlus cam to work. So you will have to install Gcam, right? Then you do get the OnePlus gallery in which you have all sorts of, you know, optimizations that OnePlus has done for their devices. At the same time, the app icon animations are really, really good. So now, you know, we've talked about the battery life, the charging, all the basic functionalities, basic usage, no random reboots. Let's talk about heating. The heating is there. It doesn't really heat up a lot more than the other custom ROMs. So heating is just compared to normal custom ROMs. It's pretty, pretty fine, right? Now, if you talk about DRM info, you don't really have a problem. Your Amazon Prime HD and everything else should be working absolutely fine. Nothing to worry there. You do see Widevine L1 is available. And all the other features that the team Evelyn has mentioned in their change log, they are working absolutely fine, right? Now, let's quickly go ahead and have a look at the benchmark numbers over here. I ran two CPU throttle tests at two different times. The first time I did it was 181 600 GIPS and the second time was 167. So, you know, the CPU throttle test is pretty decent. No problem there, 88% of its max performance. The Geekbench core is also pretty decent, 745 single core, 2636 multi-core and Antutu 558,818. So the benchmark scores are different and, uh, you know, definitely better than some other MIUI based ROMs out there. And if you ask me, how is the ROM? Can you use it as a daily driver? Yes, it's much better than what earlier ports of Oxygen OS used to be because now you can actually use it as a daily driver you can flash this you can give it a try this is the complete review we will come up with a gaming review and a hint for you is gaming is excellent in this rom you won't be disappointed let me know in the comment section what do you think about the latest oxygen os port for the redmi k20 pro until the next one this is kalash signing off at phone ops keep smiling take care goodbye